All right, let's get the dirt in, Tommy. Right, right. How's my businessman, huh? Fine. Huh? You know the $5 you're holding for me, Dad? I'm not holding it, Tommy. You know it's in the bank. But I told you I was opening a savings account for you, son. Well, can I have it back? Have it back? Well, I just put it in last week, Tommy. Well, can't you get it out? Oh, I can get it out, but I wouldn't get it out. Why not? Frenchmen today are proud of their country's achievement, of its modern roads and highways, its immense dams to produce more hydroelectric power, and its atomic energy plants, a newer source of power for industries. These modern industrial developments contrast with the older traditional activities of agriculture. Large areas of fertile soil worked by industrious farmers have long provided food for the French people. Unlike most countries, France grows enough food crops and raises enough cattle to feed its population, a factor that contributes to its power in the Western European community of nations. Like most of these nations, France has an extensive coastline. It faces the sea on three sides, on the English Channel, on the Atlantic Ocean, and on the Mediterranean. Two sides of France are mountainous. On the south, the Pyrenees separate France from Spain. On the east, the high mountains of the Alps help divide it from Switzerland, Italy, and western Germany. On the northeast, the Low Countries border France. We can simplify the boundaries to a six-sided shape. Three sides facing land, three sides facing sea. The sea has helped to moderate the climate of much of the country, and favorable climate in turn has benefited agriculture. Some of the most productive farms are in the Paris Basin in northern France. In the Paris Basin, much of the soil is fertile. Truck farms produce a variety of vegetables. These men are harvesting potatoes which will be sent to Paris and other cities. On larger farms, machinery is being increasingly used, especially in level regions like the Paris Basin. Mechanization is increasing farm production. Wheat, grown in the Paris Basin and in northeastern France, is the most important food crop produced. This wheat harvest scene resembles one we might see on the Great Plains of the United States or Canada, although French farms are much smaller in size. From the wheat farms of northern France, the grain is shipped to flour mills. The wheat is cleaned and sifted before being ground into flour. Here, the bags are being filled and sewn up before being shipped to all parts of the country. And so, wheat is an important part of the geography of northern France. But in southern France, the farm products are different. Along the Mediterranean, in the region called the Riviera, the Mediterranean climate is much like that of southern California. This is the sunny France of the south a subtropical region where palm trees and citrus fruits grow. The mild winters make it possible to grow oranges, lemons, and other fruits. This woman is picking lemons. This man is harvesting an early crop of cherries. A very special product comes from the region around Drop, an inland city of the Riviera. Here, Acres of roses are grown commercially. 
Thousands of the flowers picked by hand are used to make perfume. It takes many pounds of rose petals to make a single ounce of perfume, one of France's chief exports. In the perfumery, the rose petals are distilled to extract the essential oils. Perfumes from grass are one of the famous exports of France. Not far from grass, facing the Mediterranean, is the city of Nice. Tourism is its main industry. Travelers from all over the world enjoy Nice's warm climate and beautiful beaches. In southwestern France, in the Garonne Valley, for instance, the climate and soil are ideal for growing grapes. In the Garonne region, vineyards are a common sight, and the grape industry employs many men and women. Although grapes are cultivated in other parts of the country, many farmers in southwestern France specialize in growing grapes. Most of the grapes are used to make wine, an important French product. The famous Bordeaux wines are named after this inland port in southwestern France. Historic Bordeaux is the leading trading center of this area. On the wharves, we'll find some of the exports of Bordeaux and the surrounding region. Products being shipped include electrical goods, condensed milk, tires, and cartons of bottled Vichy water, a famous mineral water. Another harbor on the Atlantic coast is Boulogne, one of France's largest fishing ports. The French have long had a thriving fishing industry based in many small harbors along their 1,800 miles of coastline. French fishermen go as far as the Grand Banks off the coast of Newfoundland to fish for cod, as they've done for three centuries. French fleets also fish in the English Channel and in the Mediterranean. The chief Mediterranean port is Marseille. The old port of Marseille traces its history back to Greek and Roman times. Today, most of the commerce centers in the new port, five miles northward. This is the destination for ships from the Far East, the Middle East, and North Africa. A ship from Algiers is a reminder that France has had historic and economic ties with North Africa for centuries. Cities in Morocco and Algeria were once centers of French colonial rule, and such cities still show many influences of French life and culture. French territories in North Africa gained independence from France during the presidency of Charles de Gaulle. A gallant soldier during World War II, de Gaulle was elected president of the Republic in 1958. A new constitution gave him strong executive powers, which he used to stabilize France with strong support from the French people. The French legislature is composed of a national assembly, which meets in this building, formerly a palace, and a senate, which also meets in a former palace in Paris. Another historic palace, now an art museum, is the Louvre. Priceless of art in the Louvre attract students and visitors over the world. Other cultural centers are the Opera House in Paris and the Cathedral of Notre Dame. It is an outstanding example of medieval architecture. The cathedral stands on an island in the Seine. This river is part of the transportation network of Paris, for the city is also a center of commerce. Barges on the Seine carry many different products out of and into the city. Articles for sale in Paris shops include china and fine glassware, two products for which France is famous. Fashionable clothes designed and made in Paris are another world-famous product of France. Paris is a manufacturing city, too. Some of the things produced are textiles, light machinery, and automobiles. 
The French automotive industry has introduced modern production techniques with great success. French cars are exported to other countries, as well as sold in France. This automobile dealer in Paris has an expert knowledge of his cars. His customers may include people from neighboring nations of Western Europe. Much of the steel used in the manufacture of French automobiles comes from the industrial northeast, from such cities as Longwy, Metz, Strasbourg, and Nancy. Nancy is one of the major steel producing cities in France. And these are some of the steel workers of Nancy who represent another part of French life. Skilled industrial workers have helped to make France one of the leading steel producers of the world. In the mill where these men work, vast amounts of coke made from coal are used in the production of steel. Much coal is imported by France from the Ruhr area in West Germany. The coal enters France at a low tariff made possible through the European Coal and Steel Community Trade Agreements. The European Coal and Steel Community was the beginning of the European Common Market, set up in 1957. To the member nations of the Common Market, France sells steel and other industrial products made in northeastern France. From Nancy and other cities of this region, some of the heavy industrial products for export are shipped along France's network of canals and rivers. Barges carry heavy goods from the industrial northeast region down the Marne River to the Seine. Here we enter Paris again, the capital and commercial center of France. Some barges pass through Paris and continue westward through the moist grasslands of Normandy, the leading dairy region of France. Finally, the barges reach Le Havre, the largest port in the northwest. Le Havre, which in French means the harbor, is the gateway to the Atlantic Ocean. Here, ships depart for the trade routes of the world, carrying goods and products of one of the agricultural and industrial giants of Western Europe, the nation of France.